Hi guys, draw some reactions and this video go to react to episode 10 of season 1 of Babylon 5. Let's get into it. Very soon you will breathe much easier and then you will grow up to be strong and wise and bring much honor to your mother and your father. Please don't speak that way. No one knows what is written in this dream until the waters surround him. He is our only son, Dr. Franklin. He is the last chance for our family's honor to fly on the winds of history. You must love him very much. On my world, it would be a sign of weakness for me to acknowledge feelings to a stranger. But he has brought such joy and happiness into our lives. Simple operation will easily correct the condition. I'm nervous. Operation? Oh. Surgery. And they don't agree with you that? will cut him open? Well, that's usually what surgery Yeah, they're not going to want that. You don't understand. Food animals are cut open. They don't have a soul, so it's all right, but the chosen of God may not be punctured. The blockage won't heal by itself. If Sean doesn't have this surgery, he'll die very painfully. And none of us want that. That is immaterial. That's Raider territory. Exactly. Recommend we dispatch a fighter wing to meet the Asimov and escort her back here. The potential combat situation requires the presence of at least one command officer. Is Garibaldi available? I suppose. Not really what she meant. What? <laughs> what do you mean, what? <laughs> that was very obvious, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and knit something. Maybe a nice sweater, some socks. Does the term stir crazy ring a bell, Commander? I have an idea, Lieutenant Commander. Why don't you take off the fighter wing and escort the Asimov back to base? Well, if you insist, sir. His recovery should be easy. They it's don't care that it's simple. simple procedure. We understand the procedure. Even if it would be like well, one cut, they still wouldn't want it. it. The veterinarians on our own world perform this surgery on distressed food animals. So you're just going to let him die? What kind of a god do you worship? We cannot discuss this any longer. This is useless. We are the children of time. We cannot break our covenant any more than you could cease to be the descendant of egg sucking mammaloids. My husband intends no offense, Doctor. Of course. I think we can try something here that, that might get Sean's natural defenses a chance to break up the blockage. What the hell are you doing? I was going to ask you the same thing. You never insult a patient's beliefs. You work with them. You try to understand their concerns. You give them a reason to be on your side. And you think lying to them is going to help? I didn't lie to them. You know as well as I that mineral oil and microbeams won't dislodge that mass. It's rooted. That kid is going under the knife or into the freezer. Those are the only Whoa. options. Sometimes you have to heal under the, the knife or into the freezer. The Suggest minimal chatter until we contact the Asimov. Don't want to attract any attention. We just want to get in and get out. Confirmed. It better not be some kind of weird ass trap. Prepare for jump. It's going to be boring, but the station has over a thousand educational and entertainment channels, and you can watch. No. We have seen some of that material. Those channels demonstrate false belief systems. He can study the scrolls if he gets bored. Wow, that will definitely make him less bored. Now, the Gloppet is a very rare creature from the planet... Uh, planet... Placebo. <laughs> the egg has to be held <laughs> just like this. Since I'm going to be too busy treating you to take care of it for a while, you're going to have to do that for me. Okay? He's so good with kids, man. Or just, you know, very good with patients in general. I gave them a chance to think about it, to reconsider. You are so certain, aren't What are you supposed right, to look, do then? Force look, them? Look, if you think you can find a better way, go ahead. Research it. Prove me wrong if it'll make you happy. You're I, not I'm guessing he it. can't just operate without their consent. Can't get steak out here. Then I'll import one. Why do you want to import a steak? Research. <laughs> <laughs> Maya Hernandez. Or me. I'll let you know in a couple of days. You could order me to take whatever steps I felt necessary to save that boy's life, including surgery. If I do that, it establishes a precedent. You've already done that when you told my predecessor to save the life of Ambassador Kosh. Oh. Yes, I was brief. He's right. I'm asking you to find another way to resolve this. You don't care if that boy dies? That's not the issue. Whoa. If it were, we wouldn't be having this conversation, but it's not the only issue. Can someone come up with a solution already, please? I'm afraid. Maybe this clop egg will have to hatch without me. Oh, no, no, no. See, still glowing. 
That means you're doing a good job. You just keep holding it just like that. Okay. He needs that surgery, or he will choke to death on his own fluids. There are more important things in life than the next breath. Without his what? spirit, he wouldn't be alive anyway. I'll put aside your objections, and I will perform that surgery without your permission. No, you can't do that. You mustn't do that. Please, Dr. Brinkland. I'm sorry. I have to do what I feel is best for Sean. And so do we. Which is... Which is what? This is Babylon Escort Wing Alpha to Starliner Asimov. Please fall into formation behind us. We'll escort you to the station. Confirmed, Alpha Wing. Thanks for the save. No problem. You will give our child to Dr. Franklin. Earth people always stick together. I'm sorry you feel that way. No, feel sorry for your doctor. If he harms my child, if he touches... Uh, you're threatening now? I will kill you. Wait, you just... You just put out said that? <laughs> he just said that. Not even using you for me since just... No, just directly. What were you thinking when you petitioned us? We thought your dislike of the Earthers would be enough. Enough for us. Not for you. We cannot justify such expenses for non centari. Excuse me? Just how much justice can you afford? The Volons are very powerful. If you filed a protest, Commander Sinclair would Even have to forbid Dr. Frank. Asking, gosh, is the answer going to make any sense? The avalanche has already started. It is too late for the pebbles to vote. Ah. Uh Okay, just another headache. <laughs> we have suffered the interference of others in this area, and are thus ourselves forbidden to intervene in matters such as this. You are refusing because of your beliefs? We thought the Minbari were the most intelligent. You're wait, wait, do you hear yourselves? Trying to save our You're child. refusing because of your that belief. Uh, do you not hear yourself? Doing. The lack of self awareness. A glob of egg? Uh, actually, it's only a piece of. Industrial goo. But please don't tell Dr. Franklin I said so. He still believes it's an egg. Oh my god. Do I want to live? Yes. Very much. But I don't want the operation. I don't want to lose my spirit. I had an operation once, a very serious operation. But I'm fine now. But you are not one of the chosen. No, I'm not. What we hold sacred gives our lives meaning. What are we taking away from this child? That's a question we can worry about after the operation. I have to refuse to sign the order. I can't allow you to perform the operation. What? Sean, I, I, um, I, I, I wish, uh, I... Come on. I wish. You're not weak. Don't you? I think you should go now. You're going to do it anyway, aren't you? Oh my god. They have their beliefs and I have mine. And how do you think that will end, end up? So did you. Although, yeah. If I stand by and do nothing. Sinclair will have you thrown off the station. I'm already packed. I'm literally getting dizzy. Like, I understand both Sinclair and Franklin, like, ah. Is Sinclair going to step in? The air or moisture when we make this incision. Here we go. Oh my god. You can't help but wonder, can you? You didn't find anything in your researches, did you? Lord, preserve this child. Say again? It was a prayer for a spirit. My prayers have to be just as good as theirs, right? Besides, so could it hurt? Yes. Whoa! Good. That simple? Oh. Not good. Not that simple. Your spirit doesn't live inside your skin. It's not something that can escape. You still have your spirit. You can see that now, don't you? Your parents will see No, that they too. won't. Oh, God, Franklin. I'm scared. Dacia! Manya! In the name of the egg, you did it. You did it anyway. It's me! Yeah, no, they're gonna. They don't want it to send anymore. Away, you demon! Away! Away! Please! Uh, fuck me. I was scared for this. Who asked you to play God? Every damn patient who comes through that door, that's who. People come to doctors because they want us to be gods. 
They want us to make it better or make it not so. They want to be healed. And they come to me when their prayers aren't enough. Well, if I have to take the responsibility, then I claim the authority too. I did good. And we both know it. And no one is going to take that away. I think you should come to Med Lab. I think you both should come. What? What, well, things are going to get even worse? My husband has brought the Lamuda. The traveling robe for great journeys. They will take the boy now. He needs to rest. He will. What? I'm waiting. For an apology. D what, Franklin, what is this attitude? You better check the temperature in hell first. Goodbye, Dr. Franklin. What are you gonna do with the kid? I... God, this episode is so stressful! It's all here. The great egg, the great journey... What the is the great song. journey? Mm. There's a Lamuda. Traveling robe. For dying? Are they gonna kill the kid? Are they gonna kill the kid? That's what I was afraid of! For fuck's sake! I better be fucking wrong, but why else would he be so stressed? For fuck's sake! No. Oh my god. You did it. You did it. Do not grieve. This was not our son. This was only a shell. There was nothing to do but end the pain of the shell. Maybe we'd all be better off if there was no God. If God had never been invented, we wouldn't have to care. I'm trying to tell you that what makes us human is that we care. And because we care, we never stop trying. No. What makes us human is that we have so many different ways to hurt. What happened out there? Nothing. Nothing? I just got back the repair order on your fighter. It'll be in the shop for a week, minimum. And on top of that, I hear you broke regs about leaving formation and engaging in combat without backup. It was an educated risk. Sometimes it works out. And sometimes it doesn't. It's a long story. Come on, I'll fill you in. So someone else can be sad too? <laughs> Well, this was episode 10 of season 1 of Babylon 5, and I think it was a very good episode, but also a tough watch. <laughs> um, wow. I mean, this topic, I have seen it before in other shows, mainly medical shows, but from what I have seen so far, I do think uh, this one dealt with it the best way, or at least the most interesting way. Um, I had a, I definitely felt like I was being pulled to different... Um, I like the different people, I was just, I was literally getting like headaches, like, oh my god. Um, but it actually, you know, again, I guess that's how it feels when you're watching a show that really makes you think. <laughs> um, there were times where I was like, you know, f fully behind Franklin, but then there were times where I was also fully behind Sinclair. And then I was also like, I'm not even sure if I'm behind, like, it's so complicated. And it's, you know, clearly it's something that... Uh, it's still, you know, it's very much uh, also a thing, I guess, in real life, you know, not just in science fiction shows. <sighs> but uh, yeah, it started off, you know, pretty grim immediately. I mean, we have a, we have a kid, Sean, who um, is very sick. And if uh, he... Can this fly not distract me, please? I'm sorry. Um, and if he wouldn't get a certain operation or surgery, then it's very clear that he would, you know, end up dying. Um, and Franklin this time isn't alone, he has a colleague. I don't think we've seen this colleague before. Um, kind of forgot, I mean they mentioned her name with the whole steak thingy, but I kind of forgot. I think it was Maya, not sure. Uh, but she was, you know, her initial reaction is, you know, honestly something that I was feeling, even though I knew that it wasn't that simple, but yeah. When she was like very upset at the parents and saying those things like, you know, you know how, how can you like do this and are you fine with letting your kid die? I can't deny that those are definitely like my main thoughts, like how can you do this? But then again, it's very, I mean, we all know it's very complicated when religions are, uh, are involved or faiths are involved or belief systems are involved. 
Yeah, and clearly these parents, they very much believed that if uh, some kind of surgery would be performed to their kid, that that Sean would lose his spirit, which is very extremely important for them because he is, according to their belief, he's like a cho chosen, like one of the chosen ones. Um, and they only like, you, they believe that you only cut on someone you know, does have a soul, like, uh, how do you call it, like, food animals? So if you would do the surgery on him, then he would end up not having, like, his spirit anymore. Which is obviously a very big thing. Um, and again, my main thoughts were a lot of times just like, this kid needs the operation, we can't just let this kid die because of a belief. But, so I guess a lot with, like, what Franklin was thinking, but at the same time, I was... I felt like I was also getting challenged, and it's something that I've thought about sometimes as well, you know, uh, like, me, I, I do believe in God, like, I was, I guess, pretty much raised Catholic because of, you know, Catholic school, Catholic boarding school, um, I, I, not that, I wouldn't really consider myself, I guess, Catholic anymore, and I've never really been to church that much, I, I mean, if you wouldn't count, of course, the... Uh, mandatory church visits with school and so on, but I do still believe still believe that there is a God, even though um, I can't say that it's something that I'm, um, I guess actively practicing. Um, but I there have definitely been times where I was kind of like you know I mean the thing is I'm very well aware that if I wasn't if I didn't get my education or Catholic school, that I probably wouldn't have ended up believing in a God. So that's something that, I mean, I wouldn't say struggle with, but sometimes, you know, uh, when I do um, get in touch with topics like this, I do kind of think about, like, personally, I don't think I have any, like, similar beliefs or traditions. Again, it's, it's <laughs> I guess it's pretty much comes down to me, like, I believe there's a God, and when it's very difficult, or when I'm having a very hard time, uh, I do sometimes, you know, I guess it's nice to have that support, um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it, like, influences any of my, like, stances on certain topics. But anyways, um, yeah, like, that's the thing, like, in this case, we have Sean and, um, Sinclair decide, you know, to actually, like, talk with him, you know, maybe, uh, like, directly ask him what he wants. And, you know, if he wants to live. And he was like, you know, I do want to live, but I don't want this operation. And that's just because of his belief, you know, that he wouldn't have that spirit anymore. And Sinclair, you know, he kind of tried to, like, tell him, like, hey, but, you know, I had an operation before. And it felt like I lost my spirit. But it says that Sinclair, Sinclair could, could, uh, sorry, could clearly see for himself that this, you know, this kid was indeed a very smart kid. And he very much know what was going on and what what it will mean if he will not get that operation and um and i mean even like i believe in the, in the netherlands as well like not that long ago i'm pretty sure that discussion is still going like people are also talking about you know should kids have of, of course from a certain age don't get me wrong but like from a certain age should kid uh be able to consent whether they want to uh get euthanized you know if they're in, in a very very like in a lot of pain and there it it's pretty much certain that there is not any way for them to you know to be cured or to be out of that pain um so i did think it was very important we actually like asked sean himself like what he wanted but again he he was raised with a certain belief and yeah i mean if you have some kind of belief or maybe some people would also call it you know indoctrinated with a certain belief it's kind of that's the thing that's what i find very interesting that they also said multiple times you know you have all these certain like different kinds of re religions and beliefs and etc who decides what's wrong or what's right and is some one of them is wrong is everything wrong is everything right that's definitely something that i like would love to have more discussions about have like more episodes throughout it even though i'm you know i'm not gonna lie it does make me uncomfortable because i even though that i do like to be challenged and i do prefer shows that are not that straight cut or that simple um um you know it's still it's it's 
and I can't lie, it's definitely more comfortable to watch like a show that's more like fluffy, like, oh, you know, we don't really have a discussion, we just kind of, you know, it looks that way, but actually there's not really much there. Mm. But I did find very interesting to see, you know, um, like Sinclair was again clearly struggling with it as well. Like Franklin was very mad at him and he was multiple times saying to him, oh, do you, you know, are you just willing to let this, to let him die? Like, of course, that you could clearly see Sinclair was struggling with it. But at the other hand, you know, if I was Franklin, I would also be like, you know, how can you expect me to just not do the operation and to let this kid die? Because again, like, uh, I would also, you know... I, chances are that it would be more leaning towards like Franklin because I would just see this kid dying but at the same time like I just said there you could say you know that from a certain age and if you have a certain maternity maturity that oh god so that's the thing it's so cool because I was about to say for a certain age you could say that maybe this kid can in some way consent to certain things but then again the kid was raised in a certain belief and with that belief he would never want to agree with that operation and then it also didn't didn't help that it was very clear that it pretty much all down onto Sinclair like everyone didn't want to take any responsibility we also got to see um, like the parents try to find someone to advocate for them, you know, going through all the ambassadors, even to Kosh, which tell them like, what were you even trying to say? Um, and everyone was kind of like, you know, it's not really something in it for me, or like, no, we better not, you know, we really we better mind our own businesses, businesses, for this one time. Um, it was extremely complicated, and the parents, you know, I was I was definitely upset at them you know even though i was kind of like oh it makes sense that they don't want to because they think they're doing you know of course they want their kid to still have his spirit but like uh like i don't even sure if i'm making any sense like i'm sorry if you're just like what 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 what, what are you even saying i'm sorry <laughs> i'm having a lot of trouble as well like making sure and that's the thing i can't really come up with a certain point of view it's hard um, but what I can definitely very clearly say is that it was extremely messed up to have those scenes where Franklin realizes what they met with the, I think it was like rope, you know, he, he was like, uh, his colleague got some information about their beliefs, which, you know, honestly, I do think he should have done in the first place, just saying, <laughs> would have been nice to know more about that, you know, before. But anyways, he found out, and I was uh, I was already worried. I was a little bit like, why would the parents suddenly be like, you know, we're gonna take our kid with us, and I was worried that they were planning on killing him. But I was hoping I was just being over dramatic for no reason. But then that was so terrifying, but so well acted that moment of realization for Franklin. And then they then tried to run towards them to try to stop them, but it was already too late. And that was such a messed up shot. Just seeing Sean lay there, surrounded with all the candles. There's basically only candlelight. And then his parents, and they're just convinced, or I guess believing, that, oh no, they actually did the right thing. Because that was just a shell. You know, they believed that that wasn't the sound, but that was just a shell. I'm like... And that's why, you know, I know it's, I guess it's like a very, it, I think people always get stressed out whenever we talk about faith and religion. Um, and again, I'm definitely not some kind of like um, expert or whatever. I can only say for me personally, generally speaking, I would like to believe that I don't have any issues with someone, their religion or belief. Um or someone who doesn't have any religion or doesn't believe in God. I don't, you know, as long as it doesn't harm other people. And that's the thing. Like, <laughs> uh, obviously, I'm not going to condone people killing their kid because they're like, oh, now I'm, now I'm saying my kid because that's what our religion... That's just what I can say. Uh, now, I mean, just as I know that there are, I guess, people who are like believe that... Um, I don't know, people like me or like bisexual or some kind of abomination. Yeah, I don't believe that shit. Um, no. So, they're definitely, you know, I, I think my point is I like to believe and I do think that we should all, I guess, um, 
accept each other's beliefs and tolerate each other, but to a certain point, because I definitely don't support people who are like, you know, uh, because of my belief, I, you know, have to like discriminate to you or like, oh, because of my belief, um, I'm gonna, um, like, for example, uh, bu -bu -bu. like, oh, because of our belief, I guess, like, men and women aren't equal, like, men are, like, all the way there, and, and women are, like, here. No, that's just my, I guess, opinion on that. Mm. So, yeah, that's, that was just very dark, I would say. Uh, I really hope my review is making any sense. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, anyways, let's move over to... And I'm still having trouble with her name. Like, Ivanova? Is it Ivanova? Because my brain keeps wanting to make it Ivanova, even though I'm pretty sure that's not it. I think it's Ivanova. Ivanova. Anyways, she was pretty badass in this episode. Well, isn't she badass in every episode, though? <laughs> I just really loved that moment where uh, Sinclair you know, was talking about that they needed the fighter pilot. Well, they needed someone to go on this mission. And she was, like, pretty much already like, oh, yeah, let's do this. But he was, oh, like, oh, do you know where Garibaldi is? And I just loved how it took him a sec to realize that she was upset about the fact that instead of, you know, asking her to go on the mission, he was literally asking her, like, oh, do you, like, hey, do you know where Garibaldi is? Seriously, Sinclair. Uh, I hope he's gonna remember that for the next time. But I just really loved that moment and uh, <laughs> how Sinclair also started to have this laugh like, oh my god. Um, but then, you know, the, he did end up sending her and she was still, you know, kept her cool. Um, but then on the mission, she didn't, she didn't really, I guess, kept to protocol. She didn't really listen. But at the same time, I also understood why. And if, like I said, it was a calculated risk. But still, she's very lucky that she didn't get killed. Um, but things worked out and it was nice, I guess, to have some kind of, like, positivity because we had that very messed up end, very messed up ending, um, with, with the, the parents and, and, and Sean. And, but then at the same time, we also got to see how because of, because, uh, hugely also in front of her, um, like uh, a daughter and mom like are happy together they're still alive they're safe you know she managed to save this uh passenger ship people you know uh are i guess didn't die <laughs> to say it simply mm. i don't know, i just liked uh, to see you know uh like we saw like um so because uh, i think it was sinclair said that to franklin that sometimes, like, even if you do the right thing, things don't end up working. And that can quite, that can definitely have quite an effect on you. And I'm, I'm curious, um, how much of this will have, like, a permanent effect on Franklin. I'm very curious towards that because this was such a huge episode for him. Um, it was such an interesting character study, uh, uh as well. I mean, a lot of episodes, pretty much every episode, but still, for, for Franklin, this was a huge character study, and I'm very curious uh, if we are indeed gonna see those consequences, because he did make it clear, you know, when Sinclair told him, like, hey, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have put that uh, request, because you forced me to make this decision, and therefore, you know, you, I guess, had to, like, go against that decision, like, you should have done that. And he said, you know, that he, that, you know, won't happen again next time. He won't do the same thing next time. So I'm very curious um, if we're going to have a similar situation and if we are going to indeed see whether Franklin is going to be like, you know, I've, based on what I experienced last time, um, I'm just going to have to, I guess, stop here. I, I can't do anything further. I'm very curious. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case with the show, though. I wouldn't be surprised. So far, there have has already been such great continuity. There already has been so such a good build up. Like I'm not sure whether I said this last, but I I do really think so far the season is very good. I like this was the tenth episode, right? Like okay, so I haven't watched that many, but still ten episodes. Okay. Um, but based on those ten episodes, I'm 
I can't say that I'm definitely confused. Like personally, it's, it's just my opinion. I'm not saying it's facts, but personally, I'm I'm confused so far that there. Like I remember some comments. Um, I think it was mainly YouTube though. But I remember basically that there's this kind of like mindset of some people. I'm not saying that's wrong, just for me personally. But I remember reading or hearing whatever that some people recommend skipping some season one episodes or only watching like a few ones to really get into it. Um, I'm not saying that's wrong, but personally I'm glad that that isn't the case. Or at least not for me. I, I... I just don't see why episodes should be skipped. I don't see it. Maybe, maybe, like, next episode I'm going to be like, oh, okay, now I understand why, but I don't see it. I mean, this has happened before. This happened with Cena, I believe. I think with Cena, there were also some people who told me to, you know, only watch, like, 10 episodes or something, and the rest isn't that important. Um, and for that show as well, I was like, why... I don't understand. Why would you need to skip any episodes? <laughs> I'm happy that I'm not missing anything so far. And like I said, there's some very good continuity. Um, and it's just interesting with the... Like, that's the thing. We're having topics here. I guess you could say, like, maybe standalone topics in the episode. But they're always a great tool of exploring those characters and getting to know them better. Or, or like I said, making me think and actually be like, okay, what would I do in that situation? Or, I guess, sort of do. Uh, that's what I'm really appreciating so far. I mean, I guess it also makes me more excited because if people are about this season, like, oh, you shouldn't watch everything, then I'm just like, wait, what does that mean about the rest of the show? Because I'm already having a, like, is it weird to say very good time while we had such a horrible episode? Well, not horrible episode, but like horrible things happening. Okay, good time. Uh, so that makes me very, uh, excited about what's up next. <laughs> All right. Okay. That was such uh, a ramble. I hope I was sort of clear. <laughs> yeah. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye.